Is Huawei about to shatter the tech world? A secret $50 billion move in the global chip war has left the West reeling. This could be the biggest shock to Silicon Valley in decades. The US-China chip war isn't just about semiconductors, it's about power. Chips drive everything from smartphones to AI supercomputers, and whoever controls them controls the future. For years, the West held the edge, but Huawei's stunning $50 billion chip fund, first reported by Bloomberg, could flip the balance overnight. If this is true, it isn't just a corporate move, it's a geopolitical earthquake. And here's why this story may be the biggest of 2025. For decades, America and its allies dominated the chip industry. Giants like Nvidia, Intel, and TSMC set the pace with cutting-edge designs like the H100 AI chip. These processors weren't just faster, they became the backbone of artificial intelligence, cloud computing, and even military technology. But then came the sanctions. Washington banned Huawei from accessing advanced US tech, hoping to cripple its progress and send a clear message. Without Western chips, China would fall behind. Yet the plan backfired. Instead of collapsing, Huawei adapted. In 2023, it shocked the world by launching its Mate 60 Pro smartphone powered by a domestically produced chip, defying expectations. Now, with a new $50 billion fund dedicated to next-generation semiconductors, Huawei is no longer playing defense. It's going on the attack. The stakes couldn't be higher. If Huawei succeeds, it threatens not only to dethrone Western chipmakers, but also to shift the balance of global power in technology. And this raises the billion-dollar question. Did Western sanctions actually accelerate the rise of the very competitor they feared most? So, what exactly is Huawei planning with this massive $50 billion war chest? According to multiple reports from Bloomberg and Reuters, the company is targeting the holy grail of chip making, achieving 1 nanometer production by the end of this decade. To put that into perspective, today's most advanced Western chips, like Nvidia's Blackwell series, still operate at around 3 nanometers. That difference may sound tiny, but in the world of semiconductors, it's like jumping from the horsepower of a family car to the thrust of a rocket engine. Early leaks suggest Huawei is already testing a new generation of AI processors, with prototypes outperforming NVIDIA's top models in both speed and efficiency. Some insiders claim their experimental designs run 20% faster while consuming nearly half the power. If true, this would be a breakthrough that could rewrite the rules of the industry. The secret lies in their approach. Patent filings point to the use of unconventional methods, ternary logic circuits, and exotic materials like bismuth that dramatically cut energy loss. Unlike past failed experiments in the Soviet era, Huawei seems to have cracked the formula by combining these ideas with modern, quantum-inspired gate designs. The result is chips with error rates close to zero and power consumption slashed in half. Think of it like turning a two-lane road into a three-lane superhighway. Data flows faster, smoother, and at far lower cost. But Huawei isn't stopping at just chips. The company is building an entire ecosystem to support them. Its Harmony OS operating system, its own cloud services, and a supply chain stretching across Asia are being tightly integrated to ensure these chips don't just exist in isolation. They are already showing up in experimental devices from AI training servers to the next generation of Huawei smartphones. Reports suggest that more than a thousand Chinese partners, ranging from startups to state-backed giants, are preparing to adopt this technology. This isn't just a chip race anymore. It's a full-scale technological ecosystem war, with Huawei positioning itself as the backbone of a self-sufficient Chinese tech empire. And if this ecosystem takes root, it won't just challenge the West, it could permanently shift where the center of global innovation lies. But here's where things get truly explosive. What happens if Huawei's $50 billion gamble actually works? Imagine a world where China, not Silicon Valley, sets the pace in artificial intelligence, quantum computing, and military technology. With cheaper, faster chips, Chinese startups could train massive AI models at a fraction of the cost, while Western firms struggle to keep up. That doesn't just change the tech industry, it could reshape global power itself. Some analysts even warn that by 2030, Beijing could hold the keys to AI supremacy, with Huawei as its crown jewel. 
but not everyone is convinced. Could the U.S. rally its allies, pour billions into its own chip race, and claw back dominance? Or has the tipping point already passed, making Western sanctions the very trigger that accelerated China's rise? The truth is, no one knows for sure. But one thing is certain. The chip war is no longer just about technology. It's about who will control the future itself. Huawei's $50 billion move isn't just a business strategy. It's a declaration of war in the tech arena. For decades, the United States and its allies dictated the pace of innovation. From Silicon Valley's software revolutions to NVIDIA's AI breakthroughs. But now, China is showing it can play by its own rules build its own chips, and perhaps even leapfrog the very companies that once left it dependent. Think about what's unfolding here. We're not only talking about faster smartphones or cheaper laptops. This is about control over artificial intelligence, global communications, cybersecurity, and even the balance of military power. In the 20th century, oil defined superpowers. In the 21st century, chips are the new oil. And Huawei may have just struck a well so deep it could fuel China's ambitions for decades. The question now is, can the West respond in time? Will Washington double down with new sanctions? Or will it pour trillions into revitalizing its own semiconductor industry? And perhaps the bigger question, has the chip war already passed the point of no return? One thing is clear, the battle over semiconductors will decide more than just who makes the fastest processor. It will decide who leads the future of technology, and by extension, who leads the world. So I want to hear from you. Who do you think wins this war? Team US or Team China? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, because this debate is just getting started. And if this story shocked you, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell, because the next chapter in the chip war could drop any moment, and you won't want to miss it.